Do you feel the Quran is God's word? No, this is exactly the same question uh, about the Bible, uh, really. And the answer, I believe, is no, just like the answer was with the Bible. There are many beautiful things contained within the Quran, uh, just as there are many beautiful things contained within the Bible. But they are definitely not God's word. And the reason why they're not God's word is because God doesn't write words that are fixed. God writes, as I've explained in the other questions, God writes only to souls, souls of mankind. And when God writes things on your soul, you become a living example of God's word. That's how God communicates with man. And we need to understand this. Most people on earth have no understanding of this. They would like to believe that their favourite holy book is God's word. But the reality is there are many things in these books that, that contain errors about God, errors about how to act with other people, and errors about ethics and morality. And my suggestion to people is to start questioning these errors with an open mind and an open heart rather than condemning anybody who questions these errors. You see, with both the Koran and the Bible, we get very militant with the belief system that we have. And this is an indication that we are in error. Whenever there is a militant viewpoint of a doctrine, so much so that we are willing to kill other people as a result of their doctrines being out of harmony, we are already in error. We are already out of harmony with love and truth ourselves. This is an indication that, that we ourselves are now out of harmony with God. So what we need to do instead of that is we need to say to ourselves, OK, if I'm willing to harm another person just for the sake of a belief, my belief must be in error. Because I would not be willing to harm another person if my belief was in harmony with God and God's love. Mm -hmm. If I'm willing to harm another person through this belief, then my belief's in error and I need to look at correcting it. I need to look at changing. I feel quite saddened when I see human society unwilling to change on basic concepts of love and truth and ethics. And it is very sad that we lock ourselves into a complete set of belief systems because we believe a book to be true, even when it's demonstrable that the book itself has unethical behaviour ex uh, uh, exposed within it. The average, the, unfortunately, the average Western society would not exist as it currently is if we followed everything that was said in the Bible or everything that was said in the Koran. The reason why is because we've had to grow beyond these particular limited concepts of God that we have and limited concepts of love in order to create societies that are more fulfilling and more secure. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to need to continue doing if we're truly going to grow towards God. If we're willing to grow towards God, what we're willing to do is to, we're willing to go, maybe everything that I think I know is wrong. And I need to examine my relationship with God and connect with God and through this relationship find out about what is right. And once we find out about what is right by having God's love touch our heart, God's love will show us what is right. You know, when God's love touches your heart, you can't treat men better or worse than women. You can't treat people of one faith better or worse than people of another faith. You can't treat a person from a different country as better or worse than yourself. Once God's love touches your heart, you can't do any of these things. Automatically, God's shown you the truth. And this is what I'd like to encourage everybody to do with this aspect of religion. I know we've got many other questions to answer about religion. And there's many questions that have been given to us about religion. But even if the average person just thought about what we presented in, these, in this list of frequently asked questions, the last 18, 17 or questions or so, they will realise that they're able to analyse many of their questions and go, oh, I don't even really need to ask that question because the answer is obvious. Um, because it becomes obvious as we receive God's love into our heart. The other thing I'd like to encourage is, is that if people just embrace this process of receiving divine love into their heart, what they would do is they would all instantly be able to answer these questions for themselves. They wouldn't need a frequently asked question divine truth channel uh, to watch. They would know in their own heart through God's love entering their heart and exposing any error, they would know what to believe and what, and what they, they shouldn't believe and what they need to do and what they shouldn't do mm -hmm. through that process. 
That's why there is no need for us to have a written word. That's why there is no need for us to follow a heap of rules because in the end, God will write the rules on our hearts as long as we're willing to accept God's love in our hearts. The rules will be there automatically as a result. And that's probably what I'd like to leave people with from this session.